on the front offside tyre. So while we've got the wheel off to do the caliper, we'll sort that puncture out while we're at it. Very annoying. So, today's video, brakes. So, uh, two secs and we'll be back. But before I go, before I lead you to set up, that is, I'd just like to tell you uh, a big thanks to all of the subscribers and to the guys that watch the videos. Uh, if you've not already subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Uh, we have now made the cut. Uh, so you can now join the channel. Um, let's wait for the car to go. Seriously, every time I come out here. So by joining the channel, you'll help support Doris. You'll also help support the business. And that, you'll get exclusive access to pre-release videos before they go live for the rest of the world, uh, amongst other things, which is all listed on the, the joining fees. So thank you to everybody that's got us this far. Doris appreciates it. Me and the wife certainly appreciate it. Your continued support, it's what encourages me to keep coming out and doing this to Doris. Like I said, she had a car. She had a hard life, beginning as a builder's van and that. And then, on, honestly, people, I've got to get a workshop. This is what else it's going to support, is me getting a workshop to do this. And so, for all of you. And so, honestly, it's like being, there's a sign up the end of the road, I'm sure there is, that says, please, drive now, he's videoing. Anyway, thanks to all the subscribers. Please do like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And please now do consider joining the channel so you can get her inside and all the other vehicles that we've still yet to do. Take care. See you when I get set up. Okay, welcome back. All oh, right. That was an effort getting that bloody wheel off. Still, right. So what we're doing today then is we're changing this, the brake caliper and that the brake carrier. Now the reason we're picking on this one first is because this one's got issues. So excuse the heavy breathing, that was very hard work. Um, what we think is going on is there's a bit of corrosion inside uh, uh, the caliper sliders, which is these bits here, which go in uh, which allow the brake hub, uh, the brake caliper, sorry, to move in and out. Um, it's just not doing it freely. Uh, there's obviously, um, well, some sort of issue going on in there. So it's dead simple to remove these two bolts, top and bottom, to take the caliper itself off. And then there's two bolts uh, just inside to take the other part off. So, um, fifteen. So it's fifteen mil for those. I think these are seventeens. No. Nope. Eighteens. Yeah, 18s for the carriers. So we'll crack these off first. Now, that is a little bit in the way. But we'll do our best to... <coughs> no. Nope. Get the bottom one, though. That's all they are. For those that are wondering, the heavy breathing, 
That's caused by a partially operating lung following a motorbike crash. Um, that's the reason for the heavy breathing when I'm bent in certain conditions. to break. Okay, so you can see the state of the inside of that caliper. That's disgusting. The rubbers are. If I bring you out for a sec and just show you. So you can see that the rubbers are slightly perished and that there, yeah, utterly useless that caliper. So, uh, let's put you back in your little hidey hole. So yeah, so, looks like we got to this one in time. I did have a hook somewhere, but I can't remember what I've done with it. So, never mind. Okay, so this is the, the carrier. Oh, another one that doesn't want to come off. All right, let's see if the good dog will get it off. There we go. Trust in the process. If in fact you can get the flipping thing back out again. There we go. One out. Usually like calipers swinging, but needs must. There you go, one caliper carrier. Right, pads, they're still okay. So we'll have them. So, yeah, carrier knackered. All right, let's get a new one. Right. 
let's do this. As you can see, nope, let's not kick you down. Stay. Right. Can you see the kit? So, these are the new carriers. So, they are aftermarket parts. So, that, if anybody needs, is the parts. So, um, there is a QR code there if, uh, if that helps you. So, and it comes with all the bits that you need. So, Sorry about that, didn't need to uh, knock his over. So. Right, now for some reason, with that, no, no idea why. Still baffles me. So, but they can only go, he says, in one hole. The supplied pin is too big. Fits lovely in there, but that does not fit in there. And equally speaking, that does not fit. So that one goes in that one. All right, I need to think about this. Brilliant. Just bear with me one sec. Let me get the other one. Faulty one. parts as soon as you get them people because that hole needs boring out so that whole kit has to go back well certainly that one does anyway so we'll get in touch with the company and 
organise a replacement for that one. Which isn't a problem because that's for the other side and we're waiting on the caliper for that. Anyway, so that's the sliders. So on the rubbers, you'll see two ends. One's got the groove, one doesn't. Groove goes into the caliper. But before we do that, we need to get some grease. All right, we're back. Okay, so we saved these from the old one. I would have liked new ones, but yeah, uh, doesn't matter. Sound good to me. Right. Okay. Some grease. You just want to make sure that they're all the way to the bottom. does not need a huge amount. And then it needs enough for it to slide and not bind. Okay. So what you're looking for is that action for it to go in by itself, okay? So they should go nicely all the way in, all by itself. You're not looking Gosh, you're going mad at me again doing that for it to be smothered you want it so it's smooth see just like that that way you know your sliders will slide because if your sliders don't slide then they're rubbish and then use your rubber on OK, 
Okay, so that's it. it's just like that. Same with that. It's going to be inside of the rubber. Just a little lube. So and then on it goes all the way to the top, just like so. Okay. And they should just bounce nicely. We should bounce. Let's say. That's still good. Now, you will always have problems with aftermarket parts. And setting your pads. Okay, at this point, uh, I worked out that I needed to shave the bottom of the pad to get it to uh, align properly on the carrier so I'll cut straight to having done that. Okay, right, we're back. So we shaved it down and, that, and as you can see now it slides lovely. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Right. You see a little bit of lippage on the the pads. Nothing really to worry too much about. So so they'll fit. Lovely. Right. So let's tuck you back up in the corner and let's go about refitting this right so the two new bolts which are those ones. So. 
and I've just noticed Did have some locked right around here. There it is. Ugh. Right. As always, when you're assembling, you break stuff. Some thread lock. Quite important. Last thing you want is these coming out. So, Yes, bring them up snug to start with. just a little nip and then refer to the trusty old manual for the front caliper mounting brackets and they're 175 newton meter Got to move you just a smidge, and that's it. new caliper that's what they should look like nice and new ah 
So we've got, so the parts of the caliper then, you've got the pots and the seals, and then you've got your brake line in and your bleed nipple. Now, again, we'll make sure there's thread lock on these. these are set to 60. Which is lucky because that's the lowest this goes. Yeah, perfect action as you can see. So what we were getting before was it squeaking. And that needs to go back into there. this stuff is like liquid piss and it goes everywhere as you can see absolutely everywhere You want to make sure that that is thoroughly clean.
Lovely. All right. <coughs> now comes the fun part. You make sure you've got a continuous flow of fluid, which forces the, uh, the air down and out through that, the bleed nipple. And then all you do is using a 10 wheel flat, excuse me, flare nut, which is flare spanner, which is one of those with a hole in the end. Okay, you just, this is the right one, not, not an 11. So you just pop it on, crack it open. Okay, and then using the cloth, you, oop, you can cover your camera, catch any fluid, and then wipe it up. And that's your brake lead. Don't forget to put the cover back on, if you can keep hold of it. Um, it's obviously hard to, there you go, keep hold of. That is a new brake caliper. Next video, we're changing these, which is the wishbones. I'm going to clean the camera up as well. Right, thanks for watching. Do give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe if you've learned anything from this video or not, as the case may be. Hold on, I just got to clean this because you don't want to break fluid everywhere. Certainly not on your camera equipment. Can't believe I did that. Um, oh, I'll, take, I'll clean it afterwards. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do give it a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. Hope you learned something off this video. Uh, what not to do how to do it, a bit of both, so uh, another video from a bold fat old man fighting with his beloved Doris to keep her fit and healthy. As I said, the only reason we changed that one was uh, because of the state of that. So that has definitely seen better days. That Whilst it's a genuine part, he's fit only for the bin. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, so if you are still watching, thank you very much for watching. It is very much appreciated. So, um, you can now join the channel, which would be very appreciated, uh, appre appreciative even, put my teeth in. Um, it allows us to continue doing workshop videos, uh, allows us to continue transformation videos in the back, um, not just on Doris, but uh, on uh, Pete's van, uh, and Justin's got some work as well, uh, coming up with a camper van. So it just allows the, the channel to keep growing and um, allows us to progress in the direction that we want, which is to do this full time, which means that I can give up my job driving for a living, which Mrs. H will be very happy with. So, thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video when we do the wishbones. I'm going to get the other two done uh, off camera. Uh, that way, you won't see me swearing at them. So, thank you once again. Take care. Bye bye.